Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And spring has sprung. It is definitely becoming a lot more mild and the really warm temperatures are on the way. And that's really what inspired today's video because I want to talk about gel moisturizers. You know, I always say like, oh, I'm not really a big fan of gel moisturizers, but I guess it's not completely true because as I was thinking about this, there's actually quite a few different gel-based moisturizers that I particularly like and do recommend so I think it's time to put them all together in a video and you know what I really do feel like there's something here for everyone I've got gel moisturizers light enough for oily skin and combination skin but also gel moisturizers nice and light but still moisturizing enough for even drier skin types so if you guys are so ready to find out the five gel moisturizers that I really enjoy give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started <music> So I have ordered all of the moisturizers from the lightest, the most airiest, breathable texture all the way up to the thickest texture. So just so you know, that's kind of where each of these products lands. And the very first one, the lightest of the bunch is the Bonajour Green Tea Water Balm. Now I'm gonna be recommending this one for those of you with true oily skin, but also combination skin that leans more on the oily side. This is also going to be a great gel moisturizer for those of you who have dehydration, because this is a very deeply hydrated moisturizer. Now the ingredients are a little bit more geared towards anti-aging so if that is one of your concerns this could also be a good choice for you. We've got lots of humectants like sodium hyaluronic, panthenol, glycerin. Other notable ingredients here include of course green tea like the name suggests, niacinamide. We also have six different peptides including copper tripeptide one, which is actually really one of the best peptides out there for your anti-aging concerns. It's particularly good for skin elasticity, helping to prevent fine lines and wrinkles, but it's also a really nice skin repairing peptide. So it can be nice uh, for those of you with more sensitive skin. Now we do have some moisturizers in here coming from a little bit of squalane oil, and we have baobab seed oil, which is actually a really good um, oil with a fatty acid content to it so it's actually very moisture barrier supportive and it's also an oil that has a nice anti-aging benefit to it as well it helps with the elasticity of skin but it is known for being a little bit on the lighter side and really quick to absorb into the skin now texture Water bomb indeed oh yes they really deliver on the name because this just bursts into hydration on your skin when you put it on. It feels so refreshing, so deeply hydrating. It is really kind of bananas. Like it will really impress you. I am, I'm positive that you will be like, whoa, when you first try this out. Now the texture, you know, it does actually look like a cream. You might be surprised, but once you touch it, it will feel like gel. And it just kind of like bursts into hydration, just like turns into water on your skin. It feels super, super light, really, really airy. And yet there is just that that whisper of moisture, just that little bit of balance and that little bit of lock it down occlusivity that keeps this gel really light, really refreshing, super hydrating, but just the right final layer to lock in the rest of your skincare, just enough to fight a little bit of water loss or dehydration throughout the day without overwhelming your skin and without being super duper thick. Like I said, it really is the lightest cream in this video. It's incredibly hydrating, enough occlusivity, as I mentioned at the beginning, good for dehydrated skin, but this is really so airy, so light. It's so good on super hot, super humid days when you're overproducing oil. This is a dream. So next up is the I'm From Vitamin Tree Water Gel. And I'm recommending this for those of you with oily skin all the way up to those with combination skin. It works nicely for both. And this is also going to be good for those of you who are acne prone and or might suffer with dehydration. Now this gel creams ingredients list 
is really focused in on brightening ingredients. Now, vitamin tree in K-Beauty, it actually is referring to C buckthorn, um, which is actually a derivative of vitamin C and really good for brightening up the skin. And it's actually making up 68% of this cream. We've also got Old Reliable here, niacinamide. And interesting, we also have 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, which is a stable form of vitamin C, meaning it is gentler on the skin and less prone to oxidization. So you don't have to keep this cream in the refrigerator if you don't want to, but it is going to be contributing to the brightening benefits of this cream. Now, texture-wise, this is a little bit more of what you might have imagined a gel cream to look like. It is a very traditional gel type of texture, and it feels really great on the skin. It's got kind of like a cooling sensation like it just feels very refreshing on the skin it's got great absorbency works in the skin beautifully it hydrates and it also moisturizes and i will tell you this um, has a little bit more moisture and a little bit more occlusivity than the bonajour cream so you can see how we're kind of building up in texture without really building up in weight because this is still very lightweight and breathable and this doesn't leave like your skin looking kind of shiny because sometimes I feel like gel, you know, the wrong type of gel cream can kind of leave you a little bit shiny at the top. This doesn't do that at all. It's got great absorbency, balances out the skin, and it really does lock down your skincare, but super lightweight layer. Now, one thing that I will tell you kind of heads up for those of you who do want to go in for this cream, just remember that less is more with this one. It's actually really easy to over apply. I feel like anyways, over apply the really lightweight types of skincare. And sometimes that's okay, but particularly with this cream, if you put on a little bit too much, if you're a little generous with this one, I do feel like it can actually start to feel a little sticky and a little bit thick on the skin. A little bit really does the job. It goes a really long way on this one. So just keep your eye on that if you are interested in this cream, less is is more. Next up is the Claire's Fundamental Water Gel Cream. So I'm going to recommend this for those of you with combination skin types, even combination skin that leans more on the dry side, a little bit more moisture here. And this is going to be good if you're acne prone and or sensitive skin. Now they do market this cream based on the claim that it's suitable for all skin types. And that's a really tricky thing to claim because it is incredibly difficult to find a universal skincare product, right? Something that's going to work for everybody, especially when it comes to moisturizers, which I think, you know, along with sunscreen, it's really one of the hardest skincare products to get just right for every person. And yet I would actually admit within the scope of this video and the five products we're talking about, this is probably the one that will suit the widest variety of people watching this video. I really do feel confident saying that. I have seen this work for so many different skin types. It really does have versatility in what it can do for you. So I do think that they're not really completely off the mark when they say, you know, most skin types are going to enjoy this. I would really highlight the word most most skin types will enjoy this. What I will say is if you are very oily or if you are very dry, I don't think it will suit you. I really think this, this hits the middle range of people. If you know what I'm saying, super oily, I think you're going to find this too moisturizing, very dry. It's just not going to be enough for you. But if you're kind of somewhere in the middle, this could actually be a great product for you. Now the ingredients list here is full of soothing ingredients. It's all about antioxidants and really taking care of the health of your skin's moisture barrier. A few kind of notable ingredients here include panthenol and phytosphingosine, which is actually really great for your skin's moisture barrier. We also have vitamin E, centella, and green tea. Now the texture is super interesting and very unique. It actually kind of looks like a really loose and runny custard or pudding. Um, it's really unique. I was surprised when I opened up this jar and I always say this about the product. I don't love the jar packaging, not for the reason that you would expect, but I just find it actually easy to actually like accidentally tip the jar the wrong way. And the product actually, it's so loose when it's completely full and brand new. 
ew, it almost falls off the edge. So I just don't like it for that. So just beware when you kind of first get this cream, be careful on your first couple of uses because it is possible to kind of tilt it the wrong way. It's so runny and it could spill. But I can forgive the packaging. I really can because this texture is out of this world. Whoa, the very first time I used this, I was really impressed because you put it onto your skin. I was about to say, you put that pudding onto your skin, that custard, you get it onto your skin and it feels super hydrating, really, really deep, watery hydration. Another product that is a true drink of water for your skin. It dives in really deep and then you feel this balancing moisture. It feels so good. It's not oily. It's not like an oily kind of moisture. It's just really balancing. Once it absorbs in, your skin just feels like it's the right mix of water and just the right mix of moisture without any shininess, without any greasiness or like tackiness at the top of your skin. And it really feels immediately like your skin has just been plumped up because it's just so filled with hydration. You know what I mean? It is so bouncy. It is so juicy. It feels like you can like almost like not stop like bouncing your fingers off your cheeks because they just feel so plump. Now this description that I just told you kind of sounds like the Bonjour uh, Water Bomb Cream, does it not? It's actually really, really similar in feeling and experience to that cream. However, Bonjour, in my opinion, is a lot more geared towards oily skin types and the Claire's has a lot more moisture to it. Um, I think they have the equal amounts of light occlusivity. It's just enough to fight dehydration but the Claire's just has a lot more of that kind of fill your skin moisture, not greasy, but just fill your skin with balancing moisture. And that's really why I do recommend this cream, not truly for very oily skin, but actually more for combination skin because it's just the right balance between the water and the moisture. So that's the differences between the two, pick it based on your skin type, but both really offer an amazing hydration experience in a light and airy gel texture. Next Next is Access Y Sarah Hart My Type Duo Cream. Now, very quickly before we get into this, I just want to let you know that I did do a sponsorship with this brand at the end of January, but I'm no longer sponsored. I just think that this is a really great um, gel cream and I wanted to include it in today's video. Now, I do recommend this for those of you with like a real classic combination skin type because this is actually two creams in one. So one side, we've got the gel cream which is the t-zone cream and this is meant for your oily area and then we do have a more traditional kind of creamy moisturizer and that's meant for the drier area on your skin I do think that this formulation is also great for those of you who do have acne prone skin so ingredients wise we have in the gel cream we've got H cordata extract also known as heart leaf extract and you know I love that for acne um, prone skin because it's anti-inflammatory it's soothing, it's antibacterial, but it's very gentle on the skin. We also do have centella in the gel cream and a little bit of licorice root extract for a little bit of brightening. Now on the more moisturizing uh, cream side of this, we've got jojoba seed oil, we have ceramide NP, and we also do have centella extract in the cream. Now this gel or T-zone cream is so lovely. It is a gorgeous, really traditional gel type of texture. There is really no moisture in this gel at all. It's just really like lightly hydrating, lightly occlusive, and very, very light and breathable on the skin. Now, the cream side, I really like this too. It's kind of somewhere in between a light and medium weight cream. It's got a good amount of moisture to it, but it's not like a super nourishing nourishing, rich, oily type of moisture. It's very balanced and it doesn't leave you shiny or greasy feeling at all. It's got great absorbency into the skin. Neither one of the creams has a finish to it or feels sticky or tacky at all. I really do feel like Access Y could 
really jar both of these creams separately. Like I would totally buy a separate jar of just this cream. It feels great on the skin. And it really is that perfect type of product to have when your skin is doing two separate things, which is actually the inspiration for this video because as the spring has sprung, right, the warmer temperatures are coming in. We've had some kind of like abnormally hot days. My T-zone has gone crazy. It is so oily but i'm still getting like the dry and tight sensation in my use and my skin has just not quite balanced out yet with the weather change and this gel for that super oily area is beautiful it really solved my like super oily issue very quickly because i was using like a medium kind of creamy moisturizer all over my face and it was just overwhelming that area so if you ever kind of run into those types of issues especially with seasonal changes with combination skin that can kind of make things get a little funky you know what i mean this is a great kind of product for that because you get everything you need just in one jar it kind of makes treating combination skin just a little less stressful in my opinion um, and definitely yeah definitely a great one if you do get a little oily but also a little bit dry. And the fifth gel cream that I want to talk about is the Thank You Farmer Rice Pure Gel Cream. Now I'm going to recommend this for combination dry skin all the way up to dry skin, especially if you're craving something on the lighter side for your moisturizer. This is also going to be good for those of you who do have dehydrated skin as well. Now this is really kind of my alternative product to the Access Y Duo Cream because this is if everything I just said about that cream sounded really interesting to you but you were like uh, maybe the gel is a little bit too light maybe it's not moisturizing enough this is the like more moisturizing more occlusive alternative to that cream now as far as the ingredients go it really is geared towards brightening your complexion because we do have rice extract we know that's very good for moisturizing and conditioning but also brightening the skin good old niacinamide is here to back up that brightening claim and we have some turmeric extract also a nice one for a little bit of of complexion benefit. We do have ceramide NP and macadamia seed uh, oil bringing in the moisturizing ingredients. Now this is incredibly unique. Uh, when you open this up, you will realize that the cream is inside of the gel. Yeah, look at this. Isn't this so bizarre? I um, I got this a really long time ago. The brand actually sent this to me a very long time ago. I'm like kind of embarrassed that it took me this long to even try it out. But when I first opened it up, I was like, am I supposed to mix this up? I don't even know what to do here. <laughs> I was a little bit confused and also a little bit in awe because it's actually really really beautiful looking, isn't it? But it is actually meant to be used kind of like the Access Y cream, like the Duo cream, the gel for the oily areas, the cream for the drier areas, or you can mix them together to get the best of both worlds. So let's talk about textures and let's uh, focus on the gel texture first. This is actually a pretty hefty gel. This is really why I am recommending it for those with more drier skin types because there's more moisture to the gel component of this moisturizer than in anything else that we've talked about. Even so, we still have those characteristic lightweight and breathable qualities that gel brings to the skin. So it feels like just very light. It's got hydration, but like I said, a balancing moisture to it. And it feels really good on your oily areas. It doesn't overwhelm it. It just balances it out in a much lighter format. And then the cream, wow, it is very silky, very creamy, nourishing, but not oily or greasy it feels awesome and it leaves your skin super duper silky i am actually wearing this moisturizer today i am really really enjoying it because like i said my skin is going a little bit more imbalanced but i'm actually feeling a little bit more on the dry side today and so this combination of a gel that's a little heftier with balancing moisture but still light to not overwhelm my t-zone it's perfect this cream gorgeous i mean like it's just so silky it feels amazing and it feels actually really good when you mix the two together um i like that as well because it just brings like the best of both worlds you know what i mean it brings that nice silky creamy moisture 
with kind of like that plumping hydrating sensation of gel and that is again why i'm recommending this for those with more drier skin types really the ability to mix them in you don't have to miss out on the benefits of hydrating and plumping gel textures you know by sacrificing moisture not with a product like this so i do think this is going to serve people who are kind of like me you know you you do kind of walk that fine line between a little bit too much oil on the skin but a lot of dryness or for those of you who do have a lot of dryness but really do like lighter weight um, uh, moisturizers, especially like in warmer weather, you can mix both of these together and it really does satisfy your skin, um, both areas of your skin in the best way possible. So if you asked me like a year ago if I would make a video about gel moisturizers, I'd be like, there's none that I like. <laughs> I'm actually surprised to do this roundup of five gel moisturizers that I really do enjoy and um, it's definitely changed my mind. You know, I think there's a gel moisturizer out there for most people and hopefully this video helped you figure out which one is right for you. So I'm curious to know, what do you kind of like change your moisturizer out to in warmer weather? Let me know all your favorite picks in the comment box below. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, but you did enjoy this video and it was helpful to you, please consider subscribing before you go. I do release two new skincare focus videos every single week and don't forget to turn on those notifications. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video and talk to you soon. Bye.